caution is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and we are finishing the Dun Shut Up. <laughs> <laughs> we are finishing the Dunwich Horror Campaign. This is it. This is this is the end. Last of go the round <laughs> for old Roland and Rex. Roland and Rex. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it's it's over after this. It's been a long trench for old uh, Rex and uh, Roland. You know the curse. The, it just keeps building. You know all the disorders, traumas. It's hard and poor Roland. You know just holding on by mental thread. Just one one less anti-anxiety. Uh, it's over. You know. You know. Man's a psychopath. We've, we fought a swirling vortex of tentacles, once again defeated by a shotgun, shotgun, shotgun blast. Yep, and um, you know, and now we find ourselves face to face with another unholy demon. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Another um, titan of madness. So yeah, it is lost in time and space. Um, passing through the gate is unlike anything you've ever experienced. You feel your body twisting and distorting, churning through realities as the gate pulls you to its ultimate destination. A place beyond the scope of human imagination. Suddenly, all is quiet, and the chaos of the journey is replaced with a sense of solitude and dread. You are in an unfathomable place, vast beyond your ability to reason, and utterly alien besides. Do you think... So, mm -hmm. a lot of this is, like, you can't even imagine the things. Like, do you think, like, things like that would actually cause someone to go insane? Or if you can't even imagine it? Yeah. Then it would make us go insane. <laughs> like, it's just like... Because your your brain would try to reason and be like, oh well. I'm just assuming it looks like a Rick and Morty landscape. Okay. <laughs> just that's just. Like, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Rick and Morty. Yep. Just like mouths and just and asses. Yeah. And, and baby and, arms. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay. So here's what's weird is throughout any Cthulhu game, we're always describe things that the human mind could could never imagine, and that's very vague. And I'm really curious is if someone would go insane. I don't even know, like, if there's anything in real life that could cause you to just be like, oh, 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 oh. like, you would just go, like, insane from anything, uh, unless it was, like, actually, like, damaging to your brain. So, I, I don't think we would go insane from this. I, I really feel like, at this point, we would, our brain would try to comprehend to the best of its ability what we're seeing to make some sense of it like it does in real life. So, I think we would be okay. The landscape is surreal and strange, the architecture impossible. You are so far from home that home has become a threadbare dream you can barely recall. Even should you find a way out of this awful place, you may never be the same again. Yeah, I would say that's probably true. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done. <laughs> You're definitely done. <laughs> like, even if it's like, we succeed and it's like... Oh, they're still scarring you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they gave us, like, two mental trauma at the end of our last campaign. Just that's for shits. That's, yeah. Yep, so... Uh, there are locations in this encounter deck, so uh, they all have, they only have a revealed side and have a revelation effect that puts them into play when drawn. So, well, when put into play, a single side location is put into play when it's revealed side face up. Otherwise, it's fun. Okay, so it's what? It's a normal location. Okay! So, we started in another dimension. You gape in disbelief at the swirling colors and alien uh, angles surrounding you. This is true madness. Uh, forced, when a location leaves play, move each investigator and unengaged enemy at that location to another dimension. Cannot be cancelled. So when a location leaves play, move each investigator. Okay. Is that shit over there? Yeah, don't worry about that yeah. over there. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, then we have All is One. Pathways of sound and color extend for an eternity in all directions, dotted with impossible architecture and overgrown with alien wildlife. The lines between objects are jagged and shifting, and your skin feels as if it were inside out. Here's that's what that looks like. Forest, after you are moved to a location. <laughs> By an encounter card effect, take one horror. Hmm. Good! <laughs> oh, let me start off with you just... Oh, man. That, that sucks. That, that really sucks. And then... Out of this world, somehow you must find your way across this alien landscape in order to find the nexus that was described in old Watley's tomb. 
As an action, you can discard the top three cards of the encounter deck, choose a location discarded by this effect, and resolve its revelation ability. So, okay, do, do you mind if I go first? Sure! Okay, so I started this time with my actual, my stick to the plan card, because I forgot about that last time. It's permanent and exceptional, as I can tap this. Before I draw my opening hand, I search my deck for up to three different tactics and or supply events, and uh, attach them to stick to the plan. Cards attached may not, may be played as if they were in my hand. Um, so basically, I just So it just have, gives you a doubled... I just have a crate of, of things. Oh, great. So... So just having stick to the plan in your deck lets you... Lets just, it, it starts the game out. Well, and, with more stuff. Yep. Oh, badass. Yep. Three supplies and three tactics. So the first thing I'm going to do is spend three to play something worth fighting for. I'll set that off to the side. Which is my new card. Something worth fighting for may be assigned horror dealt to other investigators at your location. But I can also... So I can protect us both from horror. Oh, cool. And what's uh, its threshold? Three. Okay, cool. So it's not terrible. Um, then I'm going to, second action, use my uh, emergency cash to gain three resources. And as my third action, I'm going to put some kerosene down um, to play it. This is also a new card. Uh, if an enemy was defeated at this location this round, exhaust kerosene and spend one supply. Heal up to two horror uh, from among investigators and ally assets at my location. So, so just while it's at your location, if you kill a thing. Yep, or if an enemy was killed in our location, then I can, uh, then I can... Get some horror heal out yep, of it. Yep, cool. So, uh, <clears throat> that was my turn. Awesome, awesome. Good turn, good turn. So, I didn't heal any horror, but I have a lot of buffs. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, I'll go ahead and power up as well. I will play my Hyper Awareness! I may now spend resources to get lore or agility. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Excuse I me. I suppose. Sponsored by Coke Zero. Not really. So, this we also is a talent. So, I'll so we'll go ahead and do a. Um, Boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and three resources to get my disc of Zomna. Oh, that's the one that lets you cancel a monster like that spawns on me. Eat yeah. a monster. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Play around the fucking character. Yeah, because we have all this stuff. Alright. I'm going to use the last action. What do we have available right now? I can, nothing. Or I can <laughs> build really a thing and look for a location. Get us a location. Could get us a location. Yeah, might as well get us going. So, so discard three. Yeah. There is one location here. Tear through space. Surge. At, uh, put tear through space into play. Force at the end of the round either place one doom or tear th on. Place one doom on tear through space or discard it. There's one clue there. Oh, Rex Handle, being in between time and space, you say? Well, I think it go a little something like this. Oh, I think that was the wrong pipe. Oh, that was opium. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, it has surge, though, so in... Well, no, I don't think you do surge. You only... Oh, you resolve its revelation effect, yeah. and that's it. I'm oh, like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so, there we can go through tip to... Through tear through space. Okay. We need four clues. Are there any clues here? Nope. Oh, Why is this shroud of sticks? I don't know. Maybe if clues get put on well, it. Yeah, probably this is will. like, well, <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Great. All right, so that was. Yeah, that was my turn. Yep. So no enemies are here. And we're ready. We uh, draw a card and get one, one resource. Ooh, man, I'm getting all my new cards. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna need a shit ton of resources. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a doom is going on. Oh wait, at the end of the round, uh, so we will put a doom on it, and then put a doom on that, mm -hmm. and then we will draw a card. There you go. There you go. Oh boy. Arcane barrier. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Visions of future past. Test will. Oh well, that's not fucking happening. Okay. Okay. Well. There you go. God. What? Oh, oh, thank God. I get rid of my... Get rid of it. <laughs> it's now really hard to leave here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you have to test Will to, yeah. to leave? If you're successful, Can then you discard it. That? <laughs> Otherwise, you must either cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards of your deck. Oh, man. Yup. Well, 
Um, uh, yeah. no, so that's, that's, that's what mine was. So All right. I don't have to test anything until you try and move out of it. Right, so. right. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you want me to go again? Oh. I had to discard two cards, but I got rid of my internal injury, so oh, awesome. thank you, Visions of Future Past. Oh. I'm like, oh, I think in the future I'm going to be fucked up. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, Alright, so, one action. Once again, going to do my emergency cash, but then I will spend all of that to put to pull out my shotgun and um, to marksmanship. So, uh, my shotgun has two ammo on it. So, when I activate a fight ability on a firearm or ranged asset, this attack can target an enemy at a connecting location. I ignore the aloof and retaliate keywords. If this attack succeeds and enemy not engaged with you, the attack deals plus one damage. Oh, so range. Yeah, on my shotgun. Oh, God. <laughs> just put the scope on this. <laughs> and then my shotgun. Load your slugs. <laughs> yeah, they're like dragon fire. Yeah. Um, all right, all right. So, that was... Uh, that was my, sorry, that was my entire turn. Okay, cool, cool. I, for some reason, was thinking Mark. Oh, no, Markmanship is fast. Um, put that up there. Um, do you have a shortcut by any chance? <laughs> Alright. I don't have... Do you have any will buffs? You're probably better at will than I am. My will's three. Yeah, um, about the same. I need to test four. Yeah, that's, that's oh. insane. Um... You know, I'll just I'll just do my second my third action and go through here. Uh, there's no location here, so so that's that. So that was my turn. So what are we doing? Oh, is this? Yeah, discard the top three. Okay, I'm really glad that it's not like and add monsters to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'll start my turn out. Wait, well, why am I putting them off? I'm gonna reuse them. Uh, three resources. Um, just to get you in the know. So now okay. I can investigate other locations like I'm there. Or just sitting here. I, okay, so imagine this. We walk through another dimension, and you're sitting there trying to, like, figure out where we're I at. I see the locations floating, guys. <laughs> and you're like, like, okay, so let, let's see. Okay, so I know something about that. And then I'm over there just, like, loading up guns. <laughs> like, pulling out kerosene. <laughs> like, <laughs> pictures of, like, our families. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> you're like, do you even know where we're at? But I'm sure there's something here to kill. Yes. Um, alright, so I've got in the know, that was one action, uh, I'll go ahead and do the thing. Okay. Middle of three. Middle three, uh, there is one location, a dimensional doorway. Cool. Revelation, put dimensional doorway into play, then draw the topmost hex card in the encounter discard pile. Forced, at the end of your turn, if you are at dimensional doorway, you must either spend two resources or shuffle dimensional doorway into the encounter deck. Set that. So, so there are two clues on here. Okay. So if we are if we are here, mm -hmm. then you either have to get rid of two resources or it goes back in the deck. Okay, great, perfect. That's, that's just your, that's your first hex. Oh, bummer. That was the revelation. Surge. When beyond the veil, put beyond in, a, in your threat area if there's no copy of it. Forced. If your deck has no cards in it, take ten damage and discard beyond the veil. <laughs> it just kills you. Oh yeah. If I have no cards, I'll it will kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It also has surge. Uh, I don't think we'd do that because it came from the discard pile. Oh, okay. So. Ooh, ooh, so there's that. <laughs> look at that. Let's look at that. Milling me. They love to mill me. So that was one, uh, well, two. Yeah, two yeah. to do that. So I will now, since it is a revealed location, I will use um, one of my in the know powers. Oh, okay, neat. To re investigate it like awesome. I'm there. This one is a trial of one. Yeah, that was trial of two. You can, you can um, I mean, I've two. got four. Um, unfortunately, I now have no resources to spend to buff myself. Gotcha. So, well, yeah, I don't have anything that well, can help. that might be useful later. I mean, that's still two plus. So, I mean, it, that's not bad. Right. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you'll. Yep. Get. Uh, let's see here. So minus three puts me at one. Neat. Awesome. Why said do that one? <laughs> yeah. Well. Which you did, right? Didn't know. Well, yeah, I could say I did, but I didn't. I really didn't. Yep, that Remember, was... like, we have a stack of negatives, and then, like, our positives are like that. We have, that is just a it's fuck. very unlikely. So Alright. That, that was, that was so, do we even want, do we even want to worry about this? Because we're going to add, like, if we let this go off, 
it'll be this Doom will pop. So oh, what is it? I mean? Because this says at the end of the round, either place one Doom on tear through space or discard it. Oh, okay. So if we, we'll add a Doom to it, but then we'll, at the beginning of the round, add a Doom to this. Yeah, I must have that space. That's what happened. Oh, that's, sweet. That's what I did. Oh, yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. exactly and what I did. We'll and it. then we get rid of it. It's so simple. <laughs> Look, we're, we're, our characters are fucked. Like, what? I don't, I don't think the game was meant, like, to have characters carry over to mm. other campaigns. Yeah, these boys went through a lot. Uh, we killed, like, a flesh tornado with a shotgun. We, we, we fought... Uh, you know, we were on a ghost train going into a fucking portal. Uh, Roland just straight up murdered a guy with a machete. Just, like, completely unthreatened. He was just there. He was like, kind of aggressively sitting, and Roland just lost his shit. You know, uh, it's it's been a ride. I'm like, oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> but it's like... At what cost? Yeah, I mean, it, our characters are fucking buff as shit. Mm -hmm. But, um, all right, so we each get a resource. And then a Doom gets placed. Oh, and then we draw a card. Card, yes. Oh, okay, okay, so not as bad this time. My paranoia goes off, and my, I lose I lose a resource. <laughs> Instead of the last time where I'm like, I'll use both my supply caches and get paranoid because I have so much resource. <laughs> All right. So there's one for me, one for you. Monster. Oh, it is a monster. Mm. Okay. Prey, the fewest cards in hand. I have two. Three. Okay, so it's me. I got Beyond the Veil again to play. If there's no copy, so okay. it goes back, but it has Serpent. So oh, I got gotcha. So you get another one. Beyond the Veil. Cool. Surge. <laughs> Beyond the Veil. Okay. Prismatic Cascade. So it's a location. I get the. What happens? Sorry, what? If it's a location, what happens? Oh, it just gets put in play, and the Revelation ability goes on. Oh, put Prismatic Cascade into play and discard a random card from your hand. Okay. Oh, there. Oh shit. There's three clues there. One through four. Yeah. Uh, two. My knife. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like you don't even need it. Hey, this one's a pretty good one because there's three clues there. Okay. Two shroud. Yeah. And uh, forced. It's just it just gets discarded whenever okay. we get the last clue. All right. Well, I'm just gonna um, rush it. I have a Yithian observer on me. Uh, when Yithian Observer attacks me, I discard one card at random from my hand. If I cannot, Yithian Observer deals plus one damage and plus one horror for this attack. Mm. Okay. Good thing I have some cards. Cool. Um, but I also have an out. So, do you want me to go first? Um, Mine's going to be pretty simple. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Good luck. So, I am going to use my uh, shotgun. Mm -hmm. On this guy, which gives me plus three attack for the or plus three fight for this attack. Um. Eh. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to be dealing. Let's see. Luckily, I didn't fail. So that was four, five, six. I killed it. I beat it by. I beat it by four. Oh, awesome. So it's dead. And we get one victory point for that. Well, that actually worked uh, better than. Oh, uh, I'm going to exhaust kerosene because um, I killed. There was a monster was, that was defeated at our location, spending a supply, um, and I will heal two horror for myself. Hey, not too shabby. Awesome. <clears throat> so, so I'm not. I don't even have to discard cards or use that. Um. And I'm, I'll try to help you. I'll see if I can move. What happens if I fail? Oh, uh, you mill five cards. If successful, otherwise I... Oh, or discard. So so you can still move through it. You just have to, at the, at the cost of five cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. My will's three, and I'll, I don't have anything that adds. No. Well, that's not going to be a success. <laughs> Minus three. Mm -hmm. um, oh god, okay. Yep, so totally failed that. I will cancel the move, and I will, I'll try to move through again just to see if I can... Oh, that's going to be a failure, too. Mm -hmm. Reveal another token if you fail after the skill discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until the location is discarded. Oh. Okay. 
well, I totally failed that. Uh, um, so then, it, I mean, it just puts a location into play. Nope. Nope, nope. There's multiple locations in here. I just know it. Um, there we go. Let's put it down there. Okay, so... Tear through space. Um, yeah, that's that's a doom location. But we're going to, I mean, there's one clue on it. All, we, we have to move. Like, we can't just... Right, and then, yeah. I mean, I'm going to use this up while I can. Okay. But... Alright. I'll try and... Alright, not the worst cards. My 45 Thompson, though. So, I'll, I'll push through it. I'll... Let's see. I'll, I'll go here. Because <laughs> that's going to be the... Oh, no! That's going to be the best... My best chance of getting a clue. There we go. That's my turn. Alrighty. Um... Go ahead and spend a resource that to use my hyper awareness. It's fast, uh, just to buff my lore. So now it's a five. Go ahead and use an in the know, and I will investigate. What's what's dimensional doorway do? That's if we are there. Then we have to discard two resources. Okay. So I'm gonna I'll, I'll investigate there. Okay. And it's only shroud of two. I'm gonna buff to one. That's the best. Right. Hopefully we're gonna good. There we go. Five more coming at that one. Like I'm minus there. one. Yep. Just a minus one. Plus That's one. Really nice. So minus two. two. Still five puts me at three. Just get one. Okay. Um. Can you buff it again? Any resources? Mm. Well, how many actions do you have? Mm. Two left. Let's see here. I did um, one investigate. You know, yeah, that's all I did. You can gain a resource as an action, yeah. and then buff it and try and go for this one to get two. Yeah. Then we'd have the four we need, and I still won't be helping. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I can do that. Because we have enough locations out. And then immediately spend it. Yeah, because it's fast. And then you know, it's at five again. And yes, I'm investigating the prismatic cascade. Because it's anything that's adjacent to these, right? Which yeah. Is, yeah. Fuck me. Oh man, so still just one? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh well, you you would have failed if you had hadn't buffed it. They're everywhere. <laughs> if you hadn't buffed it, you would have failed it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's better than nothing. Wait, so I investigated again. So that would have been the last in the know. Oh yep. Yep. Okay. Um So now I have to move. So no enemies. Uh we all get a resource. Sorry, there you go. And then draw a card. Okay. That's, uh... That's good. Ah. And then... Well, it's a shortcut, isn't it? You're like, oh, hey, look at that. No. After I, like, powered through this fucking barrier, I'm like, I don't feel good. You're like, why don't you take the, the yeah, second door? No. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Unfortunately, we are going to put a Doom here. And then... A Doom there. Which, it would be the four total. Hmm. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, then discard cards from the top until a location is discarded. The lead investigator resolves the location's revelation effect. Who's lead investigator? I've been going all sure. first. Sure. Go I've been going first each time. Um. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's gonna um, campaign log. Okay. So check the campaign log. If the investigators failed to save the students, read the following. Um, no, we saved them. We did save them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just looking. Yeah, so our campaign notes that I've written down, Professor Rice was kidnapped. The experiment was defeated. That's right. That's how we saved him. Mm -hmm. Naomi has the investigators' backs. Bullshit, she does. <laughs> <laughs> One clue to start this. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped and re rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. The investigators took custody of the Necronomicon. We put Silas Bishop out of his misery, we warned the townsfolk, and no brood escaped the wild, and investigators entered the gate. And then everyone survived in the 
don't remember which one that was. And no, no one was sacrificed to Yog Sothoth. Alright, so, first location. Revelation effect. <laughs> Lots of monsters. I know, right? There we go. Well, I'm really hoping that is behind, you know, time and space is that a lot of just abysmal creatures because then and only then will I be useful. Any any scenario we've been in where it's like, hey, gather a lot of clues, not a lot of fighting, I am essentially just, I might as well just blow my brains out because I'm just that much of dead weight. And uh, it's, it's also the other way around, like when there are a lot of monsters and Rex is completely useless and he just cowers and cries. So. I mean, it's been a nice teamwork. We, we, we help each other out, but here at the end, I really hope I can kill something. Okay, put tear through space into play. Let's put it down there. Uh, that doesn't happen yet. Mm. But it's a clue, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so that does not go off, but our next one is for Doom again. Um, as you cross this realm, you catch occasional glimpses of reality, scenes from old memories, more recent visions from the past few days, and sometimes even events that you do not remember ever happening. After you are moved to a location by an encounter card effect, take one horror. Okay. Alright. That was it. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Our turns? Yep. Or did we get our... Oh, we did not. There we go. Oh boy. Hey, Beyond the Veil. Oh, fuck me. Oh, it's Surge though, right? So oh, I got steps of yar. I got another arcane barrier. <laughs> I got steps of yar. Um, to location, put steps into play, then draw the topmost madness card in your discard pile of none. Awesome, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that's really good. so just this place is going somewhere. Oh, okay. Let's try and keep it. I think it's, it's like the one per investigator, so that's two clues, right? Yep. If so, what does it say again, sorry? If it's forced? Oh, um... When you would leave... Oh, you would leave fail. steps of... Oh, okay. Your hard gnarl. It's called an absent seizure. <laughs> Test will. If you fail, shuffle steps. And then go to your wrist of destination. Alrighty. Okay. Turns. Yeah. Oh, that came untapped. Alright. Um, I'll, I'll try to search it. Search it? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm at a location, so... It's uh, lore, right? Yep. Okay. I have three lore. Minus two. So I just needed one. Great! Was just one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luckily those are easy, so that's why I moved there. Um, now, you want to go ahead and spend the four, four clues? Aww. I mean, can, can I do it on my turn? I just, I, mean, I have a thing that lets me do draw cards <laughs> if I have... Fine. I never get to use it! That's fine, that's, that's fine. You don't have to use clues to do it, right? No, it's okay. just, it just, I get to draw cards for the number of clues that I have on my gotcha. character. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, so I will move... Mm, I mean, I'll try to move to... No, that's not happening. Do I even have anything that can... Oh, yes, but it's good! I'll spend my I've had words to try and move. Okay, so this one. Oh, it's right here. Um, one. Okay. So I, I actually succeeded by. Yeah. So I, I got four. Okay. So I will move there. Ooh. And that's going to be my turn. Okay. Alright. My go! Yep. Yay! I pay that. Search for the truth! The Rex Murphy alt. I'm gonna get to draw cards depending on the number of clues on me. Don't be, right. shit. Don't be shit, don't be shit, don't be shit, don't wow. be shit, don't be shit, yes! <laughs> You're like, wow, my tre my treason, my curse, my... Yeah. It's just all of it. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, see that coming. Alrighty, not too shabby. So... Cool, cool. And then I'll go ahead and... Um, yeah, now I'll sign right. our thing. So out of this world, a light shimmers in the distance and you head towards it to investigate. 
The wispy light drifts away from you, floating through the realm's strange gateways, ascending looping staircases and crossing through barriers you dared not cross earlier. With little chance of finding the nexus on your own, you follow the light, hoping it is guiding you in the right direction. Put the set aside. Ooh. Edge of the universe into play. Um, I'll just do this. Move these down. There we go. That's actually a really pretty card. That's cool. Pretty. Pretty. Edge of the universe. Who knows? Okay. So... <clears throat> it says you must have at least two clues in order to move to the edge of the universe. And what connects to this? The dimensional doorway connects to it. But what connects to the dimensional doorway? Nothing. Nothing connects to it mm. right now. Um, so, into the beyond. Um, oh, okay. You continue to follow the wisp of light through the treacherous landscape makes a difficult uh, quarry to chase. So basically, so same, we can discard the top three cards and choose a location. Uh, we advance if any investigator enters the edge of the universe. Cool. Okay. Is this one? Okay, yeah, so that doesn't go there. All right. You still have... Was... That, that, that's not an action. Yeah, that was just one action. Yeah. So, um... Alrighty, good, good. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take the mill, or try to avoid the mill, but yeah. I'm probably going to take the mill. Right. So I will now attempt to move out of uh, this location. You must have at least two clues in order to move. Which minus one. Still a fail. Yeah. I need the plus. So I'm going to go. So it only connects to steps here, I think? No. Um, no, it connects to... The prismatic cascade That's it. Yeah. goes there, and then so forced, and that connects to the spiral staircase. Okay, so discard as soon as it has no clues. Yep. Yeah, that one's actually not bad. I'm gonna move you up here. Well, so then I take a up. five card mill. Yeah. Oof. Ow! Both of my cryptic researches. Seriously? You suck. Those are like my search your deck, get a like, get a free card, pretty much. Oh, that sucks. Three. Yeah, was, okay, now I got all. Yeah, it's yeah, three. Those three. Hey, yeah, hypochondria. All right. Okay, minor matter not too good. Yeah. But both your cryptic researches, huh? Yep, that's... Yeah, yeah, it's what just is, like, oh, you want more cards? Here you yeah. go, no problem, free of charge. I lost my dynamite, my 45. Uh, prepare for the worst was search the top nine cards. Didn't work last time, mm -hmm. Brother Xavier. So, he didn't, he didn't feel like coming, coming through the portal with us. Mm -hmm. He's still in action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm there, I guess I can do a juicy investigate and get portaled back. Um, do you get minus X Shroud? So far, Shroud doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. No. But we need to figure out... Um, oh, I need to f oh, I'm going I'm to cheat a little bit. I'll shuffle this back, but... Oh, there we go. <coughs> that's, that's one of them. Okay. Yeah. And then there's that one. That one doesn't attach. Okay. 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 I mean, yeah, I guess you could always try and find... There are... Okay, so there are locations in here that do connect to the... Um, uh, that do connect to the edge. the edge. Yeah, we just have to wait for them to pop out. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess... Oh, right, we can sell mill if we yeah. need to. So, I guess you could do that for your third... I could, but I need the two clues first. So, but you will get the location in play. Oh, you can so you can yeah get two clues. Right. I'm two. gonna go ahead and buff one. Buff two. So now I'm at six. Okay. Oh, don't fuck me. Yeah, because now I really oh, yeah. I really want to one shot this one. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. God damn it. Six, you're at three. Oh. I get one. Neat. I think you've drawn that minus three, like, three times already. I don't know how I keep <laughs> I finding the same token. Well, I think there's more than one minus three in there. Well, my plan is to get a better bag for future campaigns because... Yeah, the small one's really not cutting it. I mean, it, it seems to work well for me, but I also have smaller hands. 
Um, but yeah, it's just it's just really tight, and more tokens always end up getting added. So I feel like a bigger bag, you'd mix them up a lot better. So I mean, it's random either way. It doesn't really matter, but it'll make us feel better. Was that your turn? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So one thing we forgot to do, mm -hmm. which is really shitty that I remembered, but well, first of all, we're gonna gain a resource. There you go. And we're gonna get to draw a card. Oh, hey, okay. Um, here's the shitty thing. So, at the end of the round, which it is, uh, we put Doom on here. Mm -hmm. um, and this, our, another dimension says when a, when a location leaves play, move each investigator and unengaged enemy at that location back here. Mm. So, we can either put two Doom on here and prevent them from leaving. Um, and then we'd be one turn away from this going off. Mm. Or, we can just let them go and only put one Doom here and then just go back here. And we'll both take a horror. And then we also have to b fight through the door again. Yep. Or we can just... Oh, uh, Why did the door have to go to our, like, core? It, exactly. I, I think that's how they made, they were hoping. <laughs> they were hoping it would work. Yeah. Oh, it. Yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah. Um, but, what do you want to do? I don't even know how many of these there are. I'm gonna keep eating discards. Because, right. like, I have Beyond the Veil on me. Yeah, and they're, they're so thick in that deck. That right, that is true. Or we can just say fuck it and then. Or take the. And then it just gets worse, it seems, every time I reset, so. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and reset us. Okay. So, that gets discarded. Um, discarded. And then we both. Pop here, and we both take a horror. Hey, one less arcane, right? That is true. Yeah. So, uh, there's my horror, which I will put on something we're fighting for. <laughs> what do we want? Girl, we're fighting for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, oh, we do. We still have a doom here. There you go. Collapsing yeah. reality! Is that a location? Sorry, I'm at a, oh, am I at an extra dimensional? I'm not. No. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. That's oh, discard it and cool. take one damage. Otherwise, take two damage. <laughs> oh, oh! Worse! You're taking two damage? Yep, just take two damage. There you go, thanks. Oh, it discards the location. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, I don't have any way to heal you. Well, I got Endless Bridge, so here's some good news. Put Endless Bridge into play and lose two resources. Fine! Mm -hmm. But after Investigator leaves Endless Bridge, either place one Doom on Endless Bridge or discard it, but this connects to there, the dimensional doorway. Does it connect to the edge? The dimensional doorway connects to the edge. Oh, awesome. So... Well, that's fucking bolt. Hopefully I can get a... Man, I wish you fucking had shortcuts. Be nice! <laughs> okay. Um, so, here's what I'm gonna do. This one's pretty cool. I actually really like it. So, I'm going to play Well Maintained. Uh, I play only during my turn. I attach to an item asset that I control. Uh, after attached asset is discarded, return it to its owner's hand, along with any other upgrades that were attached to it. So, when my shotgun goes away, it actually does not. Awesome. Um, and then, oh god, that, okay, unfortunately there's shroud there, so, yeah, I, I mean, I'll be able to crush it in next turn, <laughs> okay, and I'll try and move, I mean, I mean, once I get my otherworldly compass up and running, it'll, I'll be crushing shroud, because it's like, it's minus shroud per, Hey! Plus one. Perfect okay, so location. It's right if you like just barely reach in. It's like right at the top. Like I in fact I think I'm, that's kind of cheap. I'm gonna fold it, so <laughs> you, probably, you probably just put a little braille on it or something, <laughs> so you're just like <gasps> I'm like here it is. No, I'm mixing them. I'm just like <laughs> So I'll move there. Because yep, so it is attached. I, I there's no way I can get that. Like, so that's gonna be my that's I played that. Oh, that was fast, actually. So oh, did one. you take the arcane barrier? Hit. 
for leaving. No, I got oh. a plus one. Oh, that's right. Um, so, <laughs> it's like, no, fuck you. I'm sorry that you have to take it. Um, and then I will move to the dimensional doorway, which was at the end of your turn. If you are at dimensional doorway, you must either spend two resources. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. Um, well, then what I will do is because force the uh, leaves. Oh, what does the doorway do? Uh, I have to spend two resources. If I can't, it goes away. If you're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I don't have two resources to spend. Gotcha. Um, so for my, instead of moving, well, actually, at the end of my, at the end of your, yeah, at the end of my turn. Okay, well. I will just spend my two turns to uh, get your resources so I can at least go there. Cool. Alright. My turn? Yes, sir. Oh boy. Um, then I guess I'll go ahead and go ahead and take one little. Whoops. I'm just going to take a resource. And then I will play my otherworldly compass. Ooh. I don't remember what that does. It lets me subtract shroud, like considerably. Oh, neat. Okay. Repeatedly. Um, and so there are those two actions. So then I'll do my move. Okay. And I, I see the plus one in there. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Please. You have, like the worst luck with that bag. Hey! hey! There you go. Hey. I'm going to fail it and just draw three cards. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. What? I succeeded? Me one curse 13. Plus two. Cool. Yeah, I did it. Sweet. At the mill, that's so great. That is great. We're just like we've been through the door before. I think I think we're fine. Oh, and it gets discarded. Actually, it got discarded when you broke through it. Oh, really? Yeah, as soon as you break through it, it, it oh. discards. Oh, well, fuck. Well, never mind. Wait a minute. Then you wouldn't have had to mill five. The first time I went through it before you did. No, that was the other one. Never mind. Okay. No, wait. I don't remember. It's fine. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember now. Anyway, so that was our turns, and yep. things are happening now. So now we get our resource. Oh, we, we do this first, or resources? So you, well, you moved. You played that. Yeah. Well, it was, I gained a resource oh, action. Oh, okay. Then yes, I played so there's the... There's still no enemies, so we'll gain resources, and then we'll draw a card. Ooh, that's my new card, too. Yay, I'm getting all my new ones. Granted, I put 11 new cards in my deck, so... Um... Okay. Awesome. How much horror do you have, or damage? I have four damage, and okay. I can only take two more. Alright. And you don't have anything in your deck that heals you, do you? Nope! Okay. I'm not uh, really good at that. Alright. Well, so, uh, a doom is getting added there. Just so you know, whenever we leave Endless Bridge, we have to either put a doom on it or discard it. Mm -hmm. But, we don't have that doorway here, so moving back here isn't the worst thing. Yeah. Um, okay. So, there's that, and that. Okay. Wormhole! Oh, oh, I can't talk about it. That's right. Oh, you can't? No, peril means you can't talk about it. <sighs> oh, hey, Revelation. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a location is discarded. Resolve that location's revelation ability, then move to that location. So I'm just teleporting to the first location you're Another revealed. endless bridge. Cool. Whee! Alright. And then two clues are going on there. Yeah. Of course. Do they connect to each other? They do not. Hey, now we can just discard ours as we leave, since we're not leaving one of us behind. Oh, yeah. No, well, no, it's when a location leaves, you're moved to another dimension. That's that's literally what that says. When you leave a when a location leaves play, uh, move each investigator to another dimension. So it doesn't matter how it leaves. Um, that actually sucks because I was gonna help you. Mm. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I, I I have to I have to do this. What are you doing? I have to pop this because I have to put do two doom on it. Hmm. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and encounter. Okay, then discard until location is discarded. Then lead investigator resolves the locations. 
Check campaign log. If at least one name is recorded under sacrifice to Yog Sathoth, read the following. There is not. There are no names. Uh, we did not let anyone get sacrificed. You have two clues. Oh, you only have one clue, don't you? you? Okay. But I don't think collecting a clue is going to be a problem for me. Right. No, I have the other world that covers. It, it's a problem for me. Mm. Like, I cannot get to the edge of the universe. Oh, I mean, I, I'd have to get two clues, which, just depending on how, how lucky I am. So, all right. <clears throat> The location's revealed effect. Put tear through space into play. Let's put that there. With a clue on it. Okay. Cool. Alright. So, now it's our turn. Okay. Okay, so hold on just a sec. Hold on. Okay. Um, well... That sucks. That sucks, that sucks. Who is this? Oh. Well, that's pretty neat. Alright, well, since I, um, can't really help you, I'm gonna gain a supply and then spend for the four supplies to put my venturer into play. <laughs> he has three uses. I can, as a surge, I can spend one supply and exhaust him to. Uh, place one supply or ammo on an asset controlled by an investigator at my location. So basically, I will do that, and I'll reload my shotgun. Awesome. So, that's one action. Oh, the second action... Because my lore is... Yeah. And I have no way of buffing that. I mean, might as well just fucking leave. So, oh wait, when but you're gonna reset start? me too if you leave. No, it's when a when a location leaves. Oh. Play. I don't have to reset you. Okay. Oh, I see. I had to put a two. D oh yeah, we need to read this anyway. Breaking through. Uh, throughout this warp dimension, no matter where you travel, there is a haunting shape in the distance. At first, it appears as a disc, like a black moon with many wiggling arms. But as time passes, you can tell it is growing larger and larger. Hmm. Wiggling arms, eh? That's pretty hot. Um. Oh wait. I can either put it. I'll put a doom one on that and go through tear through space. So, so no, I'm not resetting you. Okay. And then hand me the bag. Look. And I will try and get a clue from there. Hopefully, it's only. Hey, zero. Boom. Yay! I got a clue! What's the mental doorway portion at the end of your turn if you... You have to have two resources, oh, otherwise okay. they get in discarded. Your turn. Yeah, this one goes away once you find all the clues. Okay. Yeah. These going on, these going away, now matter, because we forgot about that ability. So, if at the end of your turn, you stop there. Yep. I do that. One, two. And I can, I can go, do, do, like that. Um... See here, so dimensional doorway does it... Yeah, connect? endless bridge. Yeah, cool. Yep. And then connects to... This connects to the awesome. moon. Yes. Yeah. So okay, I think I can get that. You don't have two clues. Oh, but I will. <laughs> well. Well, just... can you investigate? Yeah, you can investigate, move, and then move. Yeah, yeah. that's the, I'm, I'm hoping for. Okay, sweet. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I have ways to heal you. Okay. Just so you know. We just need to be at the same location. Oh, yeah. I got this. Okay. Cool wormhole. That All right. Neat. Uh, my turn? Yes, sir. Alrighty, let's do uh, otherworldly compass during an investigate action. So it reduces the, sh the shroud by the number of revealed locations. Oh God! Uh, well, oh, it's connected to. Sorry. All right, it reduces it by two. Oh, okay. I was thinking. <laughs> Just all like, oh, zero. Uh, yeah, so down to two. So it's not too bad. Okay, I was a little clunky. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Endless Bridge connects to Wiggles and Square. I mean, you can literally just do these. Yeah. Those two. Yeah. So two. There's a lot of locations out. I don't really need those there. Anyway. And so he has tapped. We'll buff it by one, two. 
And three. <laughs> so what are you at now? Seven? I, um... Six. Yes. Seven? seven. I'm at All seven right. lo lore right now. I'm just... Right <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so seven is now five. I still beat it by two, so I get both. All right. There. All right, and now I will use both of my. Are you moves. putting a doom? To leave it, I have to put a doom. Yep. I'm gonna read the fucking card. I want to fucking read it. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. One doom, or I discard it, and then if I discard it, everything just fucking resets. Yeah. That's yeah, disgusting. Yeah. Then yeah, I have to put a doom on it. I. Alright, and then one, and then I'm not in here. Two! Awesome, because you have two clues, so... Yep. Um, Alright, you must have at least two clues. Uh, investigators at the end of you cannot draw cards during the upkeep phase. Great. So, but there are four clues there. Shroud of two. Oh. Seems like, uh, yeah, the universe is kind of easy to understand. Hmm. So, into the beyond! You reach an impossibly dense pitch black void and realize that this place is where all of reality, all that is, all that is and all that ever will be, ends. In its center, you see a minuscule rift, suspended just out of reach. When you peer through the tear, you are surprised to see the peak of Sentinel Hill. Somehow you've reached the other side of the rift. Now you must find a way to close it for good. Alright, neat. That's pretty cool. Then close the rift. The unearthly stones on the ground are inscribed with some sort of seal. Approaching them causes a voice to enter your mind, speaking in an alien language. So, we can still discard the top three. But only investigators at the edge of the universe may spend the required number of clues. As a group to advance, you need six. Oh, I already have three on me. I know, right? Awesome. So, who knows, this might be specifically right, for just you. crush this fucking shit! <laughs> ah, revenge for that last one! <laughs> God! My third eyelid is open! I see all realms! They are one in my mind! That was your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you no longer get to draw cards. Oh boy. While you're there, but I guess you still gain resources. I need those. Um, I will draw cards. I'm quite resource thirsty. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then... I mean, that was that. We have two doom out. Oh no, it's a monster! Servant of the Lurker! It's a monster abomination! <gasps> Discovered Zama! Nice! Perfect! And um, it's a victory point. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, he's not elite, so. Yep, he's just gone. Okay. Oh, I lost my bar. Oh well. I'll just put those there. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. He actually would have came after me. Oh no, he would have went to you, but then his prey is lowest. Uh, so, it is our turn. Cool. Okay, so this attaches to... I want to try... What's the force here? When you would leave, you have to test will 2. If you fail, shuffle that back. Okay. Will 2? Oh, I can probably pass that. Okay. Because um, if I... Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to pass the, the endless bridge. But this connects to... This connects to the prismatic cascade. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna move here. Oh, I'm well. Actually, at the end of the the round, I would have had that go away, and then I'd take a horror. And by that, I mean my something worth fighting for is taking a horror. <laughs> oh, my venture also can take horror and damage, so I, I would have moved moved there. So on my turn, I will move. Bridge, and then the bridge. Now it's gonna pop me back here. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna, okay. So that's gonna be one. Then I will search for two. My second one. Hey, there we go. I just needed two. Perfect. I got. So I get that. But at the end of the prismatic. Oh, so that gets discarded. Oh wait, I think that moves you. No way. Sorry. You're kidding. We'll just have you go first. Just go first. Um, and then I'll do what I want to do. Because then all we have to do is just boom, boom. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I'm just going to do a big, fat yeah, investigate. Go ahead and do that. So to say I did that before you reset everything. Yeah, and then yeah. Hopefully I can... 
Because I forgot that it was all investigators, not just the yeah. one. Um, so, yeah, no draw. So, so actually, yeah, so before that happened, I would have tear through space. I'd put a doom on it. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and I will otherworldly compass. So now it is a shroud of zero. Neat. Um, so it's still a five. So, I mean, that's yeah, so why I still need to go ahead and buff it with hyper awareness. Just to make a five and six, seven. <laughs> yeah, if you can get both, then we'll have enough yeah. to close the rift. If you're traveling through other dimensions. Right. So I'm at seven, shroud of zero. I swear nice. to God. Okay, got two. <laughs> Dude, nice. Okay, how many actions of that was y'all? Was it? I mean, that was just one. Mm. Yeah. And then I will. Um, well, now I don't have the worldly compass, so. I guess you could spend actions to draw cards. It just says you do not draw right. cards at, at your upkeep. Yeah. So we're going to one, two, three. Six, seven. Seven. Okay, now I'm gonna discard two cards. I'm now at seven again. Okay. For this next investigate. But it's a shroud. It's, it's a shroud two. Okay. <laughs> shuffle that. Shuffle that fucking bag. Shuffle it. Shuffle it. So seven minus three is four. So four. It's still two. Still so I still beat it by two. Nice. Awesome. And so now I would spend the six. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, sweet. Didn't even fucking need me. All right. Um, you are utterly exhausted with no idea as to what can be done to close the rift. It is too distant to touch, and nothing you do has any effect. There is nothing here to guide you apart from the unearthly words that are seeping into your mind. Just then, you hear a familiar voice within the echo, echoing chorus, and feel yourself compelled to repeat it. Claude Ostium. You whisper at first the words on the tip of your tongue. You close your eyes to concentrate, and the echo grows louder. When it ends and you open your eyes, you face nothing but an inky abyss, and the terror has vanished. Remove the edge of the universe from the game. Ah! Which means you're going to pop here and take, take a horror. Ooh. Uh, put the set-aside tear-through-time location in play. What is, what was, and what will never be. You see it all, and it sees you. Ah! I will put that there. Neat! So... Um, so we just need to go through Terror Through Time. With no clear way out of this dimension, you seek another path. Uh, objective of each undefeated investigator has resigned. We advance. So I'm assuming we just have to make it there. Okay. And that connects to, yeah, the another dimension. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Oh, it does? So we can just move right there? I guess so. Cool. Yeah. Um, you still have actions, man. See here, yeah, that was just two investigates. Yeah. So I'll move. move. Oh wait, wait. I, I, well, oh right, you did your thing, and then that. Well, no, no, you would have to do your turn. Right. So I did all that. Yeah. That would have reset us. Cause, and then Because yeah, so I mean, I'd be fine because I'm actually reset anyway, and I was just gonna go here and then go back and get my clue. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. So go ahead and go. Oh okay. Then I'll move over there. Move there. Yeah. Okay, tear through time. Spend two clues, resign. You find a new path and hope that it leads back to safety. Oh, I need another clue. And I don't think we can trade clues. Oh, it sells clues on awesome. Yeah, it has a, uh, it'll have four. Okay. Okay, so that's your turn. Um, so yeah, so my turn now. Oh, well it's gonna res it reset us anyway, because I, I went here, then I passed to get the clue. Um, the dimensional doorway would go away. Um, oh, no, no, it wasn't dimensional doorway. It was... Fuck me. Oh, it was the prismatic cascade. I, I went to the prismatic, got it. That would pop us back here. Mm. We take a horror. Force Again? Every, right. time, every time you move, uh, every time you're forced to move to a location, you yeah. take a horror. I personally think that this would be more cool than horrific. Like... I mean, maybe, okay, I guess in, like, the 20s, it would probably be, I mean, hell, like, there were a lot of things in the 20s that people were very afraid of, but I feel like it's like, oh, this is something different, like, I'm beyond space and time, but I'm still alive, well, let's just, I mean, this, let's just explore this, but different time, I'm also not 
I'm not rolling banks, so who knows? Um, that's going to go on my something worth fighting for, which now goes away. So close. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's so close. I can almost taste it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend or gain a resource, and then I'm going to fast play Delay the Inevitable. I can only play it on my turn. I'm going to attach it to you. When you are dealt damage and or horror, you discard it and cancel all damage and horror just dealt. Cool! Uh, but, when the Mythos phase ends, you must either spend two resources or discard Delay the Inevitable. Mm. Neat. So that was fast. Um, so I have... I gain one, and then I play... Oh no, that would be my turn. That's my turn! So, okay, so, so no, because I, I moved, yeah, and then I, um, yep, yep, that, that's my turn. Because I moved to two Prismatic Cascade, I investigated it, then it moved me back, then I gained a resource, that'd be my third action, but I play that for fast. Okay, well, I don't have any resources, so I'm going to lose this immediately? No, it's at the end of your turn. Oh, okay. Um, so, you should gain resources. Um, or I can play it on me. But I don't have resources either. So instead... No, I wouldn't be able to do that on my turn anyway. So well, yeah. are we hitting our mythos? I mean, wasn't that you going after me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so we gain a resource. There you go. Gain a resource. Uh, get to draw a card now. Yep, draw a card. And then, doom. This is going to go away, because there's no point in us having it there anymore. Um, so there are three Doom out, doesn't happen, no enemies, uh, so now we draw one of these. Tether Springs! We tether space into play. Okay, well I take, I, the, uh, Collapsing Reality, I take two damage, which means nothing to me. So the Tether Space then. Okay, so. And it surges. Oh, neat. There you go. Oh. Yithian Observer is worth one. Pray fewest cards in hand, but he's still spawning engaged with me. Yep. Yep. Yeah. At least I think, although for some reason I cannot remember. I think I know Prey is whenever he hunts. Um, he goes after. Okay, if an enemy is about to automatically engage an investigator at its location. Uh, has multiple options of whom the enemy engages the investigator who best meets its prey. So it comes to me. Oh, you have many cards. Oh, actually, sorry, no, I have five. Okay, I have two. So he's okay. going to me. Sorry, I thought it was something else. Okay, so now it's our turn. So, here, let me help you. Um, I will shoot it. Oh, cool. Um, with my marksmanship. Awesome. So... Well, I mean, we're in the same location. Oh yeah. Well, then, uh, if I can pull it towards me, I'll engage it in action. So get over here! Um, oh god. Uh, I still, I still hit it. Um, but it's only gonna be one damage. Mm. And then I will, <clears throat> uh, spend a supply. Have my venture just keep reloading my shotgun. <laughs> Like here, take this. Yeah, you need it. There we go. There we go. That's gonna be three damage, which will kill it. Boom. Let's put that there. That's a victory point. Yep. And then um, I'm gonna spend this on my kerosene. Um, on my oh. heal. That heals horror. I heal two horror from you. Yes. I'm just burning it alive. I'm like, can't be scared of it if it's, if it's on fire. <laughs> um, actually, and while I'm at it, um, fast. Oh, this is perfect. Um, well, it's not really that perfect because of the Athena. But if it bleeds, uh, it's fast. After you defeat the monster enemy, we each heal horror equal to the enemy's horror value, which is one. Oh, nice. Wow, I feel so much psychologically better now. Well, yeah. Whenever you kill things, <laughs> it oh. makes them less scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, that, that was actually, 
Oh no, I, I shot it twice. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah, because I, I engaged it and fought it twice. Awesome. Um. So yeah. So you've got enough clues to bail, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, have just, I have just the right amount of clues. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here. Okay. And it's just one action. Uh, let's see here. So activating the otherworldly compass to remove the shroud. Neat. Um, and then I will. Uh, let's see here. So that's still at four. I can spend the resource buff at five. So yeah. So it's a you're at five rather shroud of zero. Yeah. So like. You know. Um, I mean, if you I mean, if I just get one, it's I have enough for tire. I'll go ahead and play deduction as well. And if this test is successful, I get two. Okay, there you go. Or well, I mean, I get one additional, so I, I will get four if it succeeds by two. You'll get three because it's one additional. We'll discover one additional clue at that location. Two additional clues. Instead, if it succeeds by two or more. Oh, okay, damn. Yeah. So uh, this this so you could get this four. combines with my natural ability. So it's not too bad. Neat. If I get a hey. Oh, hey! Nice. Well, <laughs> oh, I choose to fail and draw cards. No. <laughs> I don't take all the clues. <laughs> this is my eye twitch. You just walked in, you're like, uh, I know all. Yeah. Alright, so you're gonna spend two and resign? I. Uh, yeah. I it, should make it. Yeah. I, I should make it my next right, turn. Then I am resigned. Okay. There you go. Like Open, going. it leads back to safety. Okay. Um,. So that was it, so you are done. I'm gonna gain a resource and draw a card. Okay. And then I'm not gonna put a doom on this, so I will just discard it. Um, and I'm already there. So, it's my turn. Um, okay, Prismatic Cascade. Into play and discard a random card from my hand. Sure. Pick one. That gets discarded. Not my extra ammunition! <laughs> oh yeah, all my stuff gets untapped. Okay. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I guess three clues get put on Prismatic Cascade. Okay, so now it is my turn. I'm just gonna move and spend two clues. And then resign. So we both resign, hoping it leads back to safety. So finding a new way. You discover a path that looks somewhat familiar and follow it. Even though your task is complete, you now understand that in closing the tear, you may never make it home. The fear of being lost here forever spurs you onward through an archway leading into an overgrown corridor. A damp wooden door leads you out into a pocket of thin rain and dark sky. Cement turns to gravel, then marble, then steel, then grass. You cross impossibly long meadows and make your way through dense woods before fatigue finally sets in. Drained of all energy, you cannot go on any further. Your body gives out. <sighs> we did it. It's finally over. We we saved. We we did. We survived the the night of the zealot. Now we survived the Dunwich horror. I think it's time to uh, to hang our hats up and and retire forever. R one. Um, oh, okay, before resolving in any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, nope! Um, lying on your back in a patch of wet grass, you find yourself staring longingly at the night sky. Somehow, you are once again atop Sentinel Hill, unable to recall exactly how you got here. You are mesmerized by the night sky. Seconds become minutes, and minutes become hours. Eventually, you are found and lifted to your feet by, the group, by a group of Dunwich citizens. What happened? What are you doing here? They ask you, frightened but curious. You can't seem to find the right words to describe the events that occurred beyond the gate, if they ever truly occurred. There doesn't appear to be any trace of Seth Bishop, or of the creatures he fought earlier, or of the phantasmal and other or otherworldly gate. But every time you sleep, you dream, and when you dream, it all comes rushing back. I'm a campaign log. Oh, I don't know where the pencil went. Oh, well, luckily I have a bunch over here. Yep, so in the campaign log, um, we write, investigators close the gate, investigators closed the, oh, closed the tear in reality, sorry, closed the tear 
in reality. Um, each investigator, yep, um, each investigator suffers two physical trauma and two mental trauma. Great, and that is the end. Yeah. Like, wait, two physical and one mental? Yeah. So two physical puts me at, what was I starting at, two? Yeah, two it's physical eight. and two mental. I'm at four and, I'm still functional. Yeah, you're at four and six, I'm at two and six. Mm. Um, as he or she never fully recovers from his or her time spent outside the realm of reality, that is very true. My mind is completely, I'm just catatonic. <laughs> each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns five bonus experience as he or she saved the world from being torn apart. So, I spent... What's the point? Right. We're, we're just... <laughs> right. But we would have got uh, three... I don't think there's any on the... on the Nope, so three. So we would have gotten eight. That would put you at ten. Nice. And then... Um, I was at, I spent all my experience. No, I had one left, so uh, eight, so I'm at nine. Um, and the investigators won the campaign. Hey! We won! We did it! We stopped the monsters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Never talk to me again. <laughs> okay, if you're done, get out. <laughs> so. I'll never work in this business again. I just go and drink myself to an early grave. Um, so that was, uh, uh, Arkham Horror, the Dunwich Campaign. Um, let's see. Now there's no reason for a discussion, because we, we've already done we one. Discussed it. Um, <coughs> but, um, something that we could do in the future, if you're interested, we can actually keep these characters um, and wipe our trauma. Yeah. Um, Just be godsends tearing through everything. Well, no, no, no. I, not, not moving on to the, to the next, but they have, they've made two... Um, other expansions called Return to the Night of the Zealot mm -hmm. and Return to Dunwich Horror. So they add new cards, but so they change the way the play um, is. So both it's the same things we just did, but different. But different cards. Oh. Um. So that could be interesting. Um. If if we wanted to do that at some point, because mm -hmm. we could always just make these guys uh like their base, like their base cell oh. and go go through the like refresh them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if we wanted to do that. I'm kind of interested in trying out new classes, though, yeah. just to see what Yeah, so offers. the plan is to, yeah, we don't have to do that immediately. Just, that is in the future, because mm -hmm. we now, we have it all cate categorized of who, uh, who we had mm -hmm. for both these campaigns. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think it is time to retire, uh, Roland Banks and, yeah. and Rex Murphy. Yeah, we are. They... They are truly fucked up. I mean, I was at, I was at my wits end yeah. like by the end of that, starting with but, four horror. Yeah, but we defeated two like great like madness yeah. gods. Two ancient ones yep. that stopped the Terran reality. I think I think this is good on a resume. Yeah. <laughs> like, You've done it. Hey, uh, I went beyond space and time. But yeah, I, I feel good. I feel good about other people like, jumping in. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> no, I did. So we're just, we'll just be a couple of homeless psychopaths on the street. Like, we weird. saved the fucking world twice, but it's like, <laughs> no, nobody cares. It was all in some woods nobody in knows. some back alley right, town. Nobody saw. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's, I got fired from the, like, from being a fed. Mm -hmm. you're, I mean, you're a journalist, so everyone just like. The cursed. Yeah, journalist. some, some crackpot. Uh, psychopath, um, but yeah, I think I think that was a good campaign. I will say, which one was your? Which one did you like better? This one it's or been the? A long time since the first one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, this was pretty neat. I think was this the one with the train? I like the train. One. This one was the one with the train. Yeah, yeah this one's been like all over the fucking place. Right, right. Pretty cool. They did a really good job at just making each scenario feel different, and mm -hmm. all you have are cards. Yeah, uh, I like how they gave us like all the different professors. Right, right, to help us out. Um, Rex is cursed third from the bottom. Nice. Yeah, where was mine actually? Because yeah. uh, oh, where is that? That's awesome. Um, it, it was. Oh wow! My next three cards was my thirty-eight special, but then two treacheries. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I like this one a lot. This this one. I mean, the the first one is kind of unfair because it's a beginning scenario. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one was a full fledged one. Yeah, and I felt like this one had good uh, good missions, like certain ones where you were definitely the strength and others where I was. Right, right. Um, yeah, so that one was Lost in Time and Space. Um, actually, is there a... Oh, no, there's an epilogue. Sorry. I forgot. 
Uh, if you calm the townsfolk, read the following only if the investigators won the campaign. Yep. So did we calm? If you did we calm or warn them? Um, we warned the townsfolk. Okay. So then we read epilogue two. Janae, Janae knelt closer to the ground to examine the sign in the dirt. The shape of the sign was for, foreign to her, and tracks that had led to it were unlike any she'd ever seen. Coupled with the report from the university, she wasn't sure what to think. Miss Beauregard? Her assistant called out to her. Have you found something? Uh, Jeannie stood and turned to face the freshman who'd been assigned to her. He was a good kid and a bit callow, but a hard worker and eager to prove himself. This place was supposed to be cordoned off, Jeannie responded. Nobody's lived here for months, and yet, see for yourself, their primitive rites continue to this day. The student approached and joined Jeannie in examining the sign, flipping through the pages of his journal to reference its symbols. What do you think it means? Uh, he asked. She shook her head. Outsiders rarely travel to Dunwich, and all the signposts leading to the village have been taken down, but these days, even the townsfolk who had called this place home had abandoned it. I don't know, Jeannie admitted, but somebody is here, and this isn't the first sign we've seen like this. Stories say there's an altar where the townsfolk would conduct pagan rituals atop that hill. Maybe we'll find more up there. And that's the epilogue. Yeah, I forgot there was, there was an epilogue to read. So, so yeah. And I forgot you could always do, like, different choices, mm -hmm. like, throughout to make the campaign different, which is why I like these games. Um, yeah. Different characters and all that. But, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the, the campaign, everyone. We sure did. Um... We'll see if we want to do the next one is Path to Carcosa. That's the next, um, the next big, uh, next big campaign. So, but yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.